All right, hello guys. Let's get started on getting a image inside of our document here. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is get some packages going to import graphics. The first one is GraphicX. This one allows you to import images. The next package you're gonna want is float. And what this one allows you to do is it allows for control of float positions. So a float could be, in this case, it's going to be the figure that we're gonna set up. So once you have this set up, so, once you have your packages set up, let's figure out where we wanna stick our uh, figure. So I already have a figure selected, and the place I'm going to put it is right in here under Tobias's lifestyle. So. This is where our figure is going, and we're going to begin a figure, and we want that figure to stay here. I want to center my figure, and I want to include graphics, and I'm going to set the height of my graphic to be three inches. And now you specify the location of that graphic. So I've renamed the project folder to have no spaces. This isn't going to work if you have spaces in any of the file names. I created a figures folder, and here is Tobias. This is the location of the file, which I will copy to the clipboard. And I'm going to type it in here, and Tobias.jpg. Include the extension. And after you've done that, you can insert a caption if you would like and in square brackets you put your optional caption and in curly brackets you put your real local caption this could be useful if you're including a reference in your caption include the reference instead of your real one but not your optional one uh, if you include it in the optional one you're going to have problems building uh, your bibliography the order of your bibliography and then of course we can label our figure and then all good things must come to an end. And then here, you can reference your figure if you would like to build it in the text. So if I save this and I build this, here we go. Uh, of course, the figure reference hasn't been built yet. On the second pass, we have our figure reference built. So here we have it specified by height. This is the normal aspect ratio. Everything is nice and centered. And here's our picture of Tobias in a tree. Uh, and this is all great. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is insert a list of figures. And the list of figures is going to go after the table of contents. And the way we go about doing that is first, where is my table of contents? Right here. List of figures, list of tables, and I'll get into tables in the next video. So the way you insert a list of figures is list of figures. Clear double page. And now here's our list of figures on a second build. It actually uh, build. So here we see our optional caption listing it uh, to page two, and here's our real local caption. So this is how you can change the way the caption appears in the list of figures if you wish. And of course we're still using the uh, Roman numeral system. Now to include our list of figures in our table of contents, start getting the idea now. We're going to add contents line to our table of contents. It's going to be a section. And this time I'm going to avoid using number line, and I'll show you why I'm including that number line. So if I say list of figures, and I build that, and I build it, no, that's talk, not rock. If I build that a couple times, here's our list of figures. And you see that it's lining up right here with our introduction to bias lifestyle out of alignment with the actual uh, words. It lines up with the numbers. So if we include a number line, and we leave it blank. There we go. We've got it all nice and lined up. List of figures is populated. We have a figure and we can reference, we can cross reference a figure uh, however we want. So that's a simple, easy way to import a figure into LaTeX. In the next video, I'm going to go over importing tables, uh, get, uh, setting up a table uh, both by hand and importing. And then I'll get around to uh, the list of tables. See you then.